It is on this breezy hillside in Saparia that Lester Rivas and his friends toil every day, drying, sorting, washing and grating coconut husks to produce 60 bags of coco peat weekly. Coco peat is a product made from extracting the core fiber from coconut husks and is an excellent medium for hydroponics, soil mixes and container plants. But although Rivas and his friends do not have a shed to protect them from the elements, nothing dampens their spirits. This is where we produce the coco peat. It's a small area but we're saving right now to build a proper shed and you know to have the proper facilities in order to make this better and to make more of it to, you know, to help the local farmers. Reefer says when employment became difficult last year, he began searching for other ways to earn an honest income. Selling from this shed at Sanan Village and from Aria Ponics Limited in Gasparillo, Rivas has saved enough to purchase his own coconut grinder. We hope to make a factory here, right here in Trinidad, have our own cocoa peat factory, where we do cocoa peat for not only local but foreigners too. Rivas says he is happy to help farmers as foreign cocoa peat is expensive. A bag of cocoa peat usually was between 30 to 40 dollars. Now it's, it's like 60 to 70 dollars. And we have coconut right here in Trinidad in a big way that most, fa most coconut vendors waste. Riva sells a bag of cocoa peat for 50 dollars and a bag of mulch for 40 dollars. He feels satisfied that one day he will achieve his dreams. COVID was very hard for all of us. But I use it as an opportunity to chase my goal. Moved by Rivas's story, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley tells us he will look into it to see that Rivas is encouraged. And Minister Paula Gupi Schoon is also promising to have someone listen to Rivas's case to best understand his needs. Anyone wanting to contact Rivas can call 306-5826. Radikadi Silva, CNC3 News.